Hi guys, it's Crystal here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all about planning my wedding. I asked you guys what kind of video you wanted and this is another video to my wedding series. You're engaged, congratulations. You've had your engagement party, congratulations. That's awesome. Even before my engagement party actually, I did this the first thing, book your venue. I cannot stress to you just do it. That is so important. We were so happy with our wedding venue. It was the first place we looked at and it was the only place we looked at and we just decided, yep, that's it. I did look for a few months online to try and find a wedding venue, but I was very particular with what I wanted. I wanted a marquee and I wanted Tiffany chairs and this place had it all. We got married at a place called Camaray Waters. It was near Wood End. Just a beautiful, beautiful venue. I couldn't recommend it enough. We got married March 22nd, 2014 and we booked the wedding venue about 14 months in advance. I think we booked it in January the year before. So knuckle down and get that wedding venue. I did toss up a few ideas of getting our own marquee and doing it our own way and hiring people and things like that but honestly I couldn't be bothered with all the fuss. You obviously have to work out how much it's going to be per head and this place was actually quite reasonable. We were happy with the prices but definitely get pricing lists. Just email places and they'll send you their lists and their different menus and things like that. So that would be the number one thing. Number two, photographer. This photographer is going to capture the memories that you will have forever. I was looking through magazines and I found this photographer and I just kept going back to her. She was a little bit more pricey than some of the other ones but I just felt like I wanted to go with her so I did. I tossed up a few other options like going with people that I know and things like that but I thought I'm just going to go with what I want. We went with Sarah J Photography. To get ideas start looking at Pinterest. That is the best place for wedding stuff. I have a Pinterest link down below if you wanted to go and check it out. My Pinterest is just Crystal Conti so you can go and look at my boards and see you know everything that I have there but that helped me so so much with ideas and some things I wasn't able to do and that's fine. Obviously work with your budget, work with everything that you have. We pretty much work with what the venue had. For a florist we had two separate ones. I had one for my bouquets and then another one for the decorations. With the decorations we chose a florist in Bendigo. It's called the Eternal Vase. Another thing is go to wedding expos. Went to a wedding expo and they had these flowers set up and they were all artificial. They looked amazing. You couldn't tell. So I was like, damn, we are doing that. I'll show you pictures of our flowers and things like that. I pretty much got the idea from Pinterest, I think, but I was really happy with them. Most people thought that they were real. So that was a bonus. So book your florist in nice and early because sometimes they can book out as well. For the bouquets, I just went and took in photos that I liked. I just went with someone local that worked from home and they didn't exactly turn out how I wanted, but I'm still like, you know, they were flowers on the day and they were the colors that I was after. So yeah, make Excel spreadsheets for your budget, for your guest list. Definitely make one for your guest list because you need to write down all the people you're inviting or whose guests they are. If they have partners, their addresses. If you've sent out save the date, if you've sent out the invitation, if you've received the RSVP back, you also need if they have special dietary requirements and what table number they're going to be on and who they're going to be sitting with. Make a big spreadsheet, have everything organized, put phone numbers on there if you like. Also make one for your budget, ask how much things are going to cost and get quotes and as you pay things off, mark it off on there. But another thing is with your dress and suits and things like that, don't be afraid to tell people your wedding is like a week or two weeks earlier than what it is. I've heard some real horror stories where people have got things really last minute and it could all be avoided if you just tell them your wedding is a week before it is. So with the suits we did that. We just ordered them in really, really early so they were fine. The only thing is Dean put on a little bit of weight so we had to get his suit fixed. I do actually have a video of all my bridesmaids information which I'll list down below. I filmed it before our wedding but it is still relevant to all of this. There was a problem with one of the bridesmaids dresses and we we're a little bit late to the wedding. The zip broke at the back but the lady at the venue thankfully had some cotton like this same color as the dress and stitched it up, stitched her in that dress. It's not coming out of it. <laughs> they didn't tell me until I came out and I did a big reveal of my dress as well. Like the, none of them saw it. And then I came out and took photos. Also with your photographer, plan some photos that you want taken. If you can go to your venue with a photographer, do that to see what 
locations you can shoot at with them and also show them examples of what photos you would like and you know ones that you like. The only thing that I wish that I did differently is get married a bit earlier in the day like at 3 p.m. We didn't have enough time and it was very hard for me to move in my dress to different locations so that's the only thing that I regret. I did toss up the idea of having an earlier ceremony but then it didn't work out. A little bit more about the venue that we used. It was very secluded. It actually had accommodation for everyone to stay. We had a lot of people coming into state and traveling from all over the state as well. So it was a really great spot for everyone to stay at. I thought it was like such a great idea to have a little like getaway for the weekend for our wedding and then other people could just like take the weekend off and you know go and explore Wood End and things like that. We also decided not to have any children at our wedding. Didn't invite a lot of Dean's younger cousins purely because Dean actually has quite a big family so it was a hard decision for him to make but I wanted people to enjoy their time and not have to worry about their kids. Not that I have children so I don't exactly know what it's like but I just wanted people to let their hair down and have a good time which they did. But something else is organize a DJ, organize your makeup artist, your hairstylist, book them in as well and have trials, dance lessons. We actually decided to learn a dance to our song and we did that like a couple months before the wedding. Yeah it was good. The only thing that really worried me and it actually kind of well, the dress, like I couldn't practice in the dress, so that kind of stuffed it up. Which brings me to the next part, songs. Do not forget to plan your songs, plan walking down the aisle, your first dance, coming in, everything like that. I think I might write a little blog post on what we chose, but definitely think about them. And you know, if you guys have a theme song or a special song to you too, that makes it all easier, but Dean and I didn't really have that. So we just kind of chose nice songs. <laughs> okay, setting up your location. We arrived at our location on the Friday and we got married on the Saturday. On the Friday, I set up the venue. So I put out everyone's names and everything like that. It was a little bit hard because people were there to help, but they couldn't really help because they didn't know exactly exactly what I wanted. Someone come and set up the flowers. We had the option to do it ourselves, but we just paid someone to do it because it would just take the weight off our shoulders. And there wasn't really that much to set up. So we just kind of did it ourselves. And also don't forget things like bombardieres and you will need to have like a guest book or something like that. I haven't even finished ours. I got people to sign little hearts and I'm gonna make something with it, but I haven't even done that yet. <laughs> Think of rose petals or bubbles. We had bubbles, so they blow the bubbles on you when you come down the aisle. I don't think that many people actually do that, but anyway, I still have some of the bubbles left over, which is funny. Remember to think about what room you're staying in, where you're staying, and pack a bag for that. But that's all for me on planning your wedding day. I know you'll have an amazing wedding. Stress less about things. I know it comes a time where you just need to get stuff done and you stress. You can't help it, but it will all be fine. And if things go wrong, they'll be fixed. <laughs> It'll be fine. My maid of honor actually had her spray tan go wrong and that was fixed in the end. She ended up a little bit darker, but it worked out fine. One of my bridesmaids dress, dresses broke. She got stitched in it. It was fine. Everything will work out and just be prepared. Like plan as early as you can. It's going to take up a lot of your time to plan a wedding. Just be prepared for that. Yeah, I'm sure you will look stunning and have a beautiful day. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, so I eventually ended up obviously filming my hair and makeup and all my wedding videos. I was just like, I'd put off doing this for so long because I just felt like stressed 